In this lesson, I will show you how to apply Kirchhoff's loop rule when you have a circuit that has two or more batteries. Let's first label the voltages of the batteries and the resistance of the components. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to decide. So first, decide. Uh, the direction of the current. Now, this is going to be a random pick. So it's a random pick. But logic helps. this helps. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, the fact that I have two batteries here. I have uh, this 12 volt pushing a current uh, counterclockwise and I have a 3 uh, volt battery pushing the, count the current clockwise. So I think that this is going to win the push of war. So I am going to decide to make the current like this. That's a decision. So that's the current in this loop. The current can only move in one direction in a loop. Okay, so um, the logic, let's just summarize that. Uh, the higher voltage will dictate the direction of the current. That's the logic we're going to be using. Good. So let's uh, start applying um, Kirchhoff's loop rule. So I'm going to begin right here. Um, you can begin anywhere. It doesn't really matter. But I'll begin with the what I'm considering the first voltage uh, source, 12. And then we arrive at R1. Uh, so we'll have a voltage drop of I times 4. And then we're going to uh, hit this... Um, battery right here and since the current is in the opposite direction sorry the the push of the of the three volt battery is in the opposite direction uh, that's going to be like a voltage drop so that'll be minus three um, if the battery was faced with the positive pole in this uh, right here um, then this would supplement the voltage the 12 volt voltage but this is actually seems to be taking away so 12 minus 3, it's taking away. So as we continue on, the current goes like that, and we encounter R2. So that's going to be minus I times 2 ohms. And then we're back to our starting point. And each of these, when added together, should equal to 0. So if we simplify this, 12 minus 3 is going to be 9 minus uh, 6I is equal to 0. So I is going to be equal to 9 over 6, or I is going to be equal to 1.5 amps.